afternoon, YouTube fans. Um, as you know, um, I've been in the hospital since it's January 1st. Um, I've been having some, um, um, I mean to say this to a lot of people. Um, I, um, let me get it together. Um, sometimes y'all might hear my videos my words are being slurred and carried on a different way it's only because the I'm, I'm having some oxygen problems um, from my understanding of today um, like I said I don't have the coronavirus um, I did have a touch of the pneumonia um, which um, that came with the coronavirus um, because it attacks um, your nervous system, it attacks your lungs, it attacks, I, I'm, I'm being honest to you guys, this coronavirus attack anything that's illness on your body. It attack it that worse than it attack if you was just a normal person. And in my case, I have already had some oxygen problems before so it automatically attacked that off the rip and then it made me sicker because it messed with my um my lungs and see my lungs are already fighting to um to stay afloat um as long as i keep this oxygen mask on and i know everybody done saw this thing here this crazy thing here but you know you gotta breathe in you gotta exhale in that which that's my struggle um, to try to get to the goal that everybody want me to get to it's hard um, when I, I when I first came in hospital you guys from my understanding everybody thought that it was over for me um, and maybe four days in I started coming around and um, I was able to sit up because every day was something new that I had to do um, I was rough and I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because people don't understand how serious this is so my fourth day I started to um, come around uh, I say around my eighth day um, I was sitting up in the bed I was um, talking um, I still couldn't do too much because um, the oxygen wouldn't let me do a few things at a time so that was my critical time and my scariest time. And then you think about it, I was in the hospital um, all those times by myself. No family members, nobody couldn't visit me. I only could talk to them FaceTime, but I couldn't FaceTime them because I didn't have the strength to operate the phone. So that was ugly. And then once I got that together, I was able to FaceTime my family and let them know that I was all right and everything. I didn't, I didn't tell everybody. I, I, I was just devastated on what happened to me. So uh, I didn't want to just blah everything out at one time because by me by myself in the hospital, I didn't know. So it was like I couldn't just say, well, hey, this is what's wrong with me. I couldn't do that. A lot of people don't understand that. And I wish you would understand. I couldn't talk like I wanted to. I couldn't move like I wanted to. Um, so, anyway, I got over that hump. 
Um, I was in the ICU unit because I was I was really bad. Um, now I've been in the um, I'm back in a regular wing. Um, it's like the coronavirus wing, but it's just a uh, on my way out wing. You know what I mean by that is a person almost ready to go home. Well, in my situation, if I didn't have this oxygen problem, I could go home. But I can't because um, my oxygen level, it only stays a certain way. If I start walking or moving too much, my oxygen level drops and that makes me weak again. So it's a struggle for me to try to, it, it used to be a struggle for me to get it caught back up so I can control. I know you guys know what I mean. Like if you was running and you sat down and your heart beating real fast and you trying to get caught up, well just imagine it take a real, it takes longer than you, a normal person to get caught up. And that's my situation. So I have to be cautious on how long I do something. Um, I'm able to walk. I can get out this bed and walk if I want to. But they only got me on a, um, I guess I'd say a short leash. The only reason for that is to keep me so I won't go too far or do something out of the element that I need to do. Because it's, they don't want to take a chance of me getting somewhere and I can't recover so I am grateful that I'm okay I'm doing good I have a crazy appetite now I have a crazy appetite um, as you can see I'm I'm able to talk um, I'm able to do my videos because I'm by myself so I, I, I'm able to do that um, It just, this is some real stuff. This is no joke. You guys, y'all taking this not seriously. Y'all remember how I kept telling y'all about um, the government and all this stuff? We are, um, what's the word? This is a plan. This is something that everyone, they want everybody to get the coronavirus. I didn't realize that I was in this hospital and just about every doctor or nurse that came in here, they had it. And they're like, you're going to get it regardless. You're going to get it if you want it or not. So I'm not saying that everybody is not doing the right thing and I'm not saying everybody is doing the right thing. But regardless of the point, you're going to get it some way or somehow. Because it's like I say, me and my wife, we try to stay away. And I still got it. You know what I mean? I still got it. So it's crazy that you, you, you can't run from it, seems like. It's going to come to you one way or another. So please, guys. Only thing I can tell you is, just make sure that your, your health is in the right order. So you can fight off the coronavirus. If your health is not in the right order, it's going to take you down. And it's sometimes it can take you out. And that is the crazy thing about it. People walk around every day. You never know they got it because their body is so immune and so and strong, which that's a good thing. But at the same time, you don't know that you are standing next to a person who was just like, they got the coronavirus, dude. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like that. And it, it's, it's just, this is a scary thought because now you can't put your guard down at all. You guys, please do not put your guard down. Like I said, it, it, it's, and I know a lot of people have always said it, you're going to get it regardless. You, you, you really are. You, you really are going to get it regardless. So, just 
All I can say is just make sure you guys take the vitamins. Um, eat orange, drink orange juice. Keep yourself from being dehydrated because I, I, I was so dehydrated till the needles wouldn't go in my body. The needles, they would put the needles in me and it'd be like dust coming out of it. It was so dry. They, they, they had to stick me so many times to try to find some blood because my body was so dehydrated and it was horrible. And I tried my best when I was home to drink Powerade and Gatorade and orange juice and all of that stuff. I tried, but it had got to the point where everything tasted so nasty till I just refused to do anything. You know, and on my part, I shouldn't have done that. I should have not give up, but it wasn't that I on purposely did it, but this stuff was so this virus is so strong and so powerful till it make you hallucinate. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking I was doing good. My wife was fussing at me every day, you're not drinking that. You're not doing this, you're not doing that. I'm like, yes I am, no you're not. You know what I'm saying? It got into one of those things. So I, I don't know. You know, all I can say is people, everybody in the world, if you watch my videos, I talked about I talk about a lot of stuff all the time because I stay in a lot of stuff. I stay in science, I stay in the world, I try to stay up to part and up to date in my mind. I try to stay focused. I try to I try to do. So I I I, I fuss and I fuss about this and fuss about that. But at this point you guys, we don't have a choice. You know, they all the president and them before Donald Trump had already said it. Everybody needs to get the coronavirus. We we need to get it. It's a reason for whoever created this virus. They created this virus for a reason. They they uh, they this was no accident. This was no um I don't know what's the word, but this was not an accident. This was meant to happen. This was a purpose. That's why I kept telling you guys, everybody, the censor. They need to find out how many people in the world. They made they kept saying that. It was just was so important. So important. So important. So important. So important. You know? You know how many people that's off this earth right now? And people that's still leaving this earth. This this was something that was meant to be. They say something about the new world order. They trying to make this happen, you guys. This is something that's really seriously going to happen. They trying to make everything new, brand new. They trying to get rid of all the old. Everything that's old, they trying to take it away. That means new laws. I mean everything. I pray that our new president and senator and everybody that's new in the house I pray that they see the problem that's happening and try to fix it but you know there are people that's over them that they don't know about there's a higher person that's over them that's actually doing this it's something that the president can't fix I mean it is, this is something that's crazy I know people thinking when they watch this video and I'm talking the way I'm talking I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys gotta sit back. Y'all guys gotta look at this world and look at everything that's happening since this coronavirus has started. You gotta think about it. You know, it's like I keep telling everybody, the chemtrails in the sky, they're gone. There was a reason for them always used to be in the sky. When the coronavirus came, they disappeared. A lot of people don't realize what that co what was the um, main objective of the chemtrails. Chemtrails is something to keep people in order. Without that, they have to change their approach. You know, what it used to be every when it rain real hard, it takes them away. You see about a hundred airplanes in the sky, putting them back up. If it was something that was going on. They would like 
one or two because the more the chemical they put out in the sky the better it is to control you so I'm going to make the world chaos so they can forget about what I'm about to do to the world I'm not going to put it up every now and then you see one or two maybe 50 planes because they have to keep control if they don't the world won't be balanced you guys y'all gotta look into this stuff this is something that's not a it's not a, something a rumor it's not a rumor it's some true stuff you guys gotta look into this stuff because a lot of people are missing the whole objective of this world and what's happening it's gonna be a real it's gonna be a real new order it is coming the real new order is coming I don't I don't want people to think that I'm crazy or I'm psycho I don't know what I'm talking about I do a lot of stuff that people don't realize that I don't do that, that I do do that's the thing I'm trying to say I do a lot of stuff people don't think that I do I stay into history I stay in the science I love that I, I love looking into things that um, that has something to do with us um, I'm about almost over my mark so I'm gonna put this video up for tonight today is the 21st Wow I, I can't some days I forget what day it is um, I'm gonna put this video up and then I'll put up a part two of this conversation um, like always you guys you guys see me on the vlog y'all guys please like share subscribe comment please um, tell your friends um, what else yeah just please I mean just please remember to subscribe um, share and like my videos I appreciate it um, day 21 in the hospital I'm out <laughs>